So by now, I think most of you are very well aware that we are getting a brand new Tomb Raider movie reboot. Now, of course, this is going to be a fresh start. It's not a prequel or anything to the Angelina Jolie films. And as such, this is going to be based more on the new video games by Crystal Dynamics. Now, if you're like me and you're a huge fan of Tomb Raider or of something I've been playing my entire life since it's come out, I absolutely cannot wait for this movie. But when talking about this movie to many people and even trying to look online to what people are saying, there seems to be a lot of confusion regarding how this movie is being handled. The most common question I see being asked and people debating is, is this movie in continuity with the Crystal Dynamics games or is it a standalone thing? Now, in continuity, I mean, does it take place sometime in between or prior to any of the games, or is a sequel to the last one, which was Rise of the Tomb Raider? So, in this video, I'm hoping to answer that question once and for all, and then if anybody you know asks it, show them this video, and it should make it crystal clear. <laughs> See, crystal clear, crystal dynamics. <sighs> anyway, this movie is based on the first video game reboot, for the current Crystal Dynamics series. So it's based on the two latest games, which are in no way related to the old series. Now, if you've played those games, you're going to notice that there are a few things that this movie, from the plot synopsis, is taking liberties with. For one, yes, Lara will be traveling to an island that is somewhere off the coast of Japan. The difference being is that she's looking for her father, where they're using elements of the second game, and obviously her father not wanting her to follow in his footsteps to what he was doing, which honestly makes sense. Now where some more confusion arises when people look at the cast is the fact that characters like Roth have actually been cast to be appearing in it, which then raises more questions because he's a prominent character. Now obviously, when you look at the first game, that game, yes, takes place while they're off the coast of, you know, an island, they end up landing there, that everything is crashed, and Lara has to become the Tomb Raider and learn what it means to do it, and, you know, how she has to survive, and it's a pretty amazing game. Now, in the second one, she's much more comfortable with herself, and she's doing the whole father thing, which, obviously, they're blending those elements together. So, to answer the question, is this movie in continuity with the games? No. It is not. It is retelling elements of both of the games combined, but it's very much based on this series. So, yes, you are going to see that the main actress, who's playing Lara, does actually look like Lara Croft from the brand new games. The difference being is they're taking inspiration from it, they're not necessarily retelling it, and they're not placing it in continuity because this movie has to be made for a broader audience and some of those people might not have played these games.